Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you, the beautiful viewer, and I'm super pumped for today's reading. But before we get into that, I just wanted to remind everyone again, I'm still doing the free tarot pack giveaway. So I'll be giving away this inner child cards, a fairy tale tarot. Uh, feel free to search this up online. It is absolutely a wonderful tarot pack. Um, and it is great for a first time reader as well as um, experienced readers as well. Beautiful pack. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, comment and like my videos. And once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will randomly go through my videos and pick a someone who's commented and who's subscribed. So you can be eligible for that. And again, I will be shipping that out free of charge. So um, yeah, it'll be super exciting. Anyway, let's get on with this reading. We will be doing the bitter truth you need to hear right now. Okay, so spirit knows what you need to hear right now. Now I say bitter truth. I'm not intending on communicating anything that is um, hurtful. However, sometimes truths hurt in order for us to hear something that we might not be accepting, understanding, um, but I'm hoping spirit communicates something that is helpful in the grand scheme of things. So I'll do my best to communicate what it is that I'm feeling energetically and hearing from spirit in order to convey this message to you, but it will be the bitter truth. So it could be something you're not embracing or something that you're missing or not seeing or something that um, just confirms maybe a truth that you are needing confirmation for. All right, so I pre-shuffled the Oracle cards, have not looked at them, but we have three options to choose from today for the readings. Feel free to pause this video so that you're intuitively um, guided towards the right pile. It's absolutely okay to be drawn to multiple piles. That just means there could be multiple messages here from spirit to you in regards to different aspects of your life, your situation. So for pick number one, we have this Labradorite wand. Absolutely beautiful. And for pick number two, we have this moonstone. Gorgeous moonstone. Look at that shimmer. As you can tell, I like shimmery rocks. Um, and then we have this piece of fluorite, which is absolutely stunning all right so pause the video and whichever one you're intuitively guided towards the timestamp will be in the description box and in the pinned comment you got pick one two or three and i will see you at your pick hello pick one if you pick this labradorite pointed wand then we will be getting into your lovely reading now in case you skip the intro i will be giving away this tarot pack here free of charge when i reach a thousand subs all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel leave a like leave a comment on any one of my videos and then i will randomly select someone um, to send this off to free of charge beautiful deck take a look at it online you will absolutely love it it's great for beginners or experienced readers and it's one of my favorites so today's reading we will be asking spirits to communicate the bitter truth that needs to be communicated to you right now what you need to hear what spirit feels you need to hear right now and trigger warning i don't know what the bitter truth is could be something that um, you are not seeing something you're not accepting or embracing or confirming a truth you already know but sometimes in order for us to heal and move forward we need to deal with truths of situations so i'm intending this to be something that is helpful and healing and i will do my best to communicate this as delicately as i can not always gracious uh graceful not always graceful <laughs> but i will do my best to communicate to you guys what it is that i am Picking up. All right. So pile number one, I pre shuffle these Oracle cards. We'll take a look at these and then we will pull the tarot and confirm and clarify some of this message. So this is from that inner child cards fairy tale tarot that I'm giving away, which is absolutely wonderful. So we have the child of swords. So this is the page of swords in the traditional tarot. Hmm. You know what's funny? This is about 
bitter truths. And this fairy tale looks to me to be Pinocchio. And Pinocchio is all about telling lies. So interesting. And I know this tarot pack, specifically the definitions uh, of these cards aren't um, your traditional tarot definitions. They're similar, but they are all aligned with fairy tales. So I'm sure we're all familiar with the Pinocchio fairy tale and how he had to learn his lesson in order to move forward um, with a happy ending here. So, but there were lessons that needed to be learned. So I do find that quite interesting that this is the first card that came out. Now, if you're trying to build your intuition, Think of an object, an item, a color, a song, a phrase, something, uh, an animal that you can confirm with your intuition here that might come up and we'll clarify that this is indeed your pile. Okay, so we have lots here going on. Sailboat, looks like a banjo, glue, nails, Pinocchio obviously with the mirror, a goldfish, a hammer, a candle whole bunch of things going on here. So just kind of use your intuition to pick up any sort of, um, any sort of objects that might trigger something for you. Your dreams are closer than you think with the number 44. Hmm. We have sparks of light. I'm liking this energy so far, you guys. And we have lead. The number 20. Okay. And we have detach with the number 11. A lot of repeating numbers here with the 4, 4, 10, 10, 1, 1. Hmm detach and we have manatee dugong accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it very straightforward expecting miracles miracles are blossoming in my life Look at the hands, very similar to this one here. Looks like a lotus flower and some laurel leaves. Miracles are blossoming in my life. Enjoy life with music, love, and romance. Sun in Libra with the number seven, harmony. It's two swans and a rose, beautiful. Look at that sunshine. Hmm. We have fish, and we did see a fish over here as well. Fish is all about wealth and abundance. Fish, okay. And we have fearless expression with the number 55, another repeating number. Wow, you guys must be seeing a lot of repeating numbers here. Fearless expression. And we have 29, activating empathic magic. All right, now let's get some tarot. Spirit clear and concise for pile number one. What is the bitter truth they're needing to hear right now? That's going to help them. What do they need to hear right now? What bitter truth do they need to hear right now? Have the wheel of fortune and let's pull two more cards here spirit we have the star one more and we have the 
King of Swords. Some of you guys might be Libra because we're seeing the King of Swords, which represents Libra as well. Mm. Okay. Beautiful pile one. Bitter truth. The truth of the situation. I feel like you guys might already know what I'm about to say. There is something here that you guys are really, 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 really committed to making it work at all costs. And I think you guys are getting in your own way of allowing things to naturally flow because you guys are getting lost in your own mental thought and then you're acting on what you think needs to happen in order for a situation to go in the direction in which you're expecting it to go. This could be a lot of things. This could be um, we'll ask the tarot because I don't really want to guess, but because I'm seeing here um, the King of Swords, this is talking about our, our mental clarity and sometimes being a little too logical. Then we have here the Sun in Libra, which is all about love, romance, and heart. I feel like there's this um, there's this getting in your own way when it comes to talking yourself into or talking yourself out of allowing yourself to express yourself and allow things to flow. When you talk about music, love, romance, this is something's natural. And I feel like there is this um, energy here that spirit is saying by you maybe trying to intervene and getting in your own head mentally, you could potentially be pushing out or pushing away this miracle, this thing you're trying to manifest further away. So there is this need to trust. Um, there's this need to trust, but there's also a need to not engage. And I know that sounds... Um, counterproductive to making something happen but I feel like not engage as in mentally trying to control or mentally trying to figure out exactly what needs to happen there's a need for you to react naturally and react um, based on how you're feeling not based on what you're thinking and I feel like this is something you've been wishing for hoping for something that could bring great abundance to you and i feel like with this your dreams are closer than you think miracles are blossoming in my life but then there's also this detach and accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it there's this need to allow things to naturally kind of uh flow and i feel like this is going to gain momentum and be more of a direct course to you rather than it kind of taking forever and it's not really settling it's not quite finding its way to you i feel like sometimes you're in your head and contradicting the energy here so then it's like spirit doesn't know do you really want this do you not want this is this something you're trying to manifest and if you're going back and forth kind of like a ping pong here then spirit isn't sure if this is something that's supposed to be manifesting in your life or not now i do feel like this is something you want and i feel like at times you guys might be lying to yourself about this situation and i i have a feeling that maybe some of you guys aren't prepared or feel like you might not be prepared to support this um yeah there's like a part of you that pulls away or a part of you that doesn't fully want to 
I, I feel you want to, but by your actions and your thoughts, you're kind of skeptical. And then you could mentally talk yourself out of things manifesting. So spirits saying, get out of your own way. Um, there's also this feeling I'm getting that you like the control in a situation here that things need to be controlled in a certain way and the more you try to control an outcome here um i feel like yeah this energy kind of gets further out or it doesn't quite align there needs to be an ability to react naturally an ability to allow yourself to express yourself honestly out of a place of love and emotions rather than a place of um, getting in your own head. Spirit wants you to trust that you have the ability here to make something happen, knowing it's going to happen, but not actively trying to control things to make it happen and it will come towards you and i feel like for some of you guys you guys might get frustrated because you feel like this is something at a distance or unobtainable almost um and maybe you're kind of keeping it as an inspiration or something that is further out here but spirit is saying that there is um this dream this thing you're able to manifest is actually much closer than you think let's ask spirit here for more tarot in regards to what this could be about okay um spirit what could So we have the Four of Wands. Beautiful. What is this about for pile number one? We have the Tower. Wow. Polar opposite cards here. And we have the World. Okay. So the Four of Wands is coming together. Unity. It is this harmony that we're seeing here. Stability. Building something. Coming together. The Tower happens when there is not a solid foundation the tower happens when we're not being truthful the tower happens when we build something on shaky ground and there's a there's a need here to really take a look at what you're building the the root of it and allow it to naturally form because I feel like what's happening here is that something might be you're if you're forcing something or rushing something the foundation isn't being laid and things will come tumbling down because there's a need to make sure that the foundation is sturdy and secure and maybe your telling yourself that it's ready and it should move forward or something or that this is now's the time but i i have a feeling there is um there's something here about timing that spirit wants you to know and spirit is saying that right now why this is not manifesting or coming in is because something needs to close out the timing isn't right or else things would come tumbling down so there needs to be a focus on building the stability first and this only happens through natural um natural reactions natural acceptance detaching from an outcome building that four of wands let's pull some more here because this is an interesting energy that i'm picking up spirit can we get some more around what is this all about for pile number one 
What are they manifesting here? What do they need to know? We have the star again. Okay. have the sun, the sun and the star, wow, oh spirit, and we have the seven of cups, okay, so I'm feeling like for some of you guys, um, like I was mentioning, the flip floppiness, I feel like there is, when you're trying to manifest something, the indecision or the inability to see something clearly here, perceiving something in a way that's not actually what it is, maybe wishful thinking, seeing something that we want to see that's not quite ready yet. Um, and also seeing something as maybe not attainable for us, but it is. The star is like something unattainable at a distance. And their spirit is saying that your dreams are actually much closer than you think. So you might be feeling like you're not quite sure. This is something kind of maybe out of reach. And spirit is saying that it is most definitely in reach there needs to be a clarity and a trust in spirits to bring forward this miracle this manifestation and a knowing but i feel like if you are in a state of seven of cups this is like muddled thinking too many thoughts going on so we're not really clear then the manifestation isn't quite sure how to um, how to unfold here. So spirit is wanting you to accept the situation as it's unfolding, act naturally, detach yourself from any sort of outcome here, um, any sort of control. And this will come towards you very quickly. Um, okay, let's pull some more here and see if we can get a little bit more. Spirit, the bitter truth for pile number one. We have the Ace of Wands. That's this um, Sparks of Light. Ace of Wands. Okay. And we have the Page of Pentacles. have the king of wands okay so there was something here about the timing that i was feeling and spirit is saying that when it is time for you to um act it will be very obvious for you but it needs to it needs to be something that you're planting the seed and you're you're not really needing to um control it once you plant the seed all you need to do is be ready to act be ready to communicate and be ready to um have the courage I have a feeling that some of you guys are pushing something away that gets close and you get muddled in your own thoughts and then this kind of energy kind of goes away and then you pull it back and then this energy comes back. So if you are trying to manifest, um, let's say a relationship here, okay? I feel like you come very close to manifesting something with someone and then you get in your head about it. And then this energy um, 
is confused and it doesn't quite flow and then you feel like you need to control a situation here and then the energy gets further away and then you start to want to bring this back and this energy kind of comes back but then you're kind of doing the same thing on repeat here instead of allowing things to unfold and progress they're kind of, because um, we're seeing the world and the Wheel of Fortune, which is cycles. But I feel like there's a desire here to move forward. There's a desire here to plant something here. But there's this need for you to actually act past a certain point where you're getting hung up. I feel like there's this... Um, there's this point in which you get hung up. And at that point, I think you start to doubt yourself. And then the energies kind of go back. Let's see if we could see some more. Because now we're kind of getting a little bit more into what this is about. Mm. Spirit, what is this all about? Can I get some more clear message here regarding pile number one and the bitter truth? What is this energy that comes and goes? What are they trying to manifest here? We have the Queen of Swords. So we saw the King, and now we're seeing the Queen of Swords. Could be your counterpart. Yeah, the King of Swords, and then we have the Seven of Wands. Um, I'm getting, for a lot of you guys, you have someone you're trying to manifest here. Um, and I feel like you're playing it cool. And I feel like you're a little bit defensive and a little bit guarded. And I feel like there's this energy here that is wanting to, um... wanting to come in in order to allow this um sort of an, an abundance a peace there's like i mean the two swans could be the two counterparts here i feel like there's something about this connection that is very um special here and it's meaningful in your life it's i feel it is a miracle here and I feel like you're fighting this and you're unsure with the seven of cups because I feel like you're maybe seeing yourself as something here that you're seeing yourself as something here that might not be exactly as you want to be. Let's see some more. This is a very difficult energy for me to pierce through here. It's kind of like closed off. Okay, what's with this child of swords here? Can we get some more spirit? We have the Knight of Cups revealing itself. So that is the Knight in Shining Armor. Extending a cup of love. That's romantic love. Seven of Wands, again, a need to drop our guard here, defensiveness, in order to move forward with love. I feel like you're stalling out here. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is somebody who is having communication and is able to be honest in a situation about what they want and I feel like there is a desire here to move forward with a cup of love but I feel like you're fighting yourself you're quite defensive and spirit wants you to be honest with what it is that you want for yourself and allow things to unfold and not get in your own way because you're getting in your own way so it's not allowing this to flow. It's not allowing this to move towards you. Um, I 
and your dreams are closer than you think. I think that is probably what is scary to some of you guys. Maybe you're not ready or maybe you feel like there's something here that oh, makes you pull back, makes you not ready. What else, Spirit? What more? Four of Pentacles, held back energy. This is holding back the world. That's that cycle, something needing to come to an end. I feel like there's timing involved here too. And Two of Pentacles. There's the back and forth, back and forth. Again, cycle, but also up, down, wing options. So Seven of Cups. This is like spirit doesn't know what to bring forward to you to manifest because you're flip floppy sometimes you're wanting it sometimes you're not and when you hold yourself back and not allow yourself to express yourself not allow yourself to be honest with communication to what you want spirit doesn't manifest this for you um there's a defensiveness here almost like fighting fighting this cup of love this romantic beginning here i do feel like this is a, a connection of sorts um and maybe you're telling yourself that you're someone that you're not or you need to be someone that you're not yeah i feel like you're potentially telling yourself that you need to be a certain someone or you need to have something uh, about you in order to manifest this so let's pull a card here for the child of swords what are you spirit can we get clarity around this child of swords ten of wands let's pull some more uh, two of swords and Ace of Swords, Need for Truth. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are not moving forward because you're telling yourself that something is too heavy and I feel like it's at a certain point Okay, because I was I was saying like you're trying to manifest this and it's kind of flippy floppy, right? It's you bring it in and then you kind of detach and then the energy is confused here. I feel like there's this heaviness you feel because you're not you're not acting and you're not acting because you have a heaviness about what it is that you're telling yourself. You're not being honest. You're not seeing a situation clearly here with the blindfold i think you're seeing yourself as someone who either doesn't deserve can't carry the weight doesn't want maybe this is too heavy maybe this is something you're telling yourself you don't want but inside you do what exactly are you telling yourself here what is pile number one telling themselves that's untrue we have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands hmm. on the moon. Again, not seeing clearly. I feel like you're thinking that this person, this Queen of Wands, is not interested or not. You're lying to yourself about this other person, okay? Now, it's coming up as the Queen of Wands, but I feel like this other energy that you're attracted to you're feeling like this energy is not attracted to you or that you're unable to manifest something here with this person but this is a, a lie you're not seeing things clearly you're in the dark about maybe how this person is feeling or you're telling yourself or understanding things to look a certain way but they're not and i feel like you're kind of pointing at yourself so i feel like you're the one lying to yourself about how someone's feeling about you uh, whether somebody is attracted to you whether this person wants to start something with you i feel like you're lying to yourself or you're not being clear to yourself about what this looks like so we'll ask square for some advice 
before we wrap up. This one kind of went all around, uh, but I think we're getting close to the message here. So spirit, clear and concise guidance for pile number one. What can they do here? What is the guidance for pile number one and this bitter truth that they are hearing? Okay, wow, we have seven of swords in reverse, six of wands in reverse, ten of wands. Seven of swords in reverse. Spirit wants you to... Spirit wants you to see this from a different perspective. I feel like you are... Two messages coming through. This is about not being seen. for who you are. Mm, you're not being seen for who you are. You think you're not being seen for who you are, but I think you might not be seeing clearly. You think this person doesn't see you for who you really are. And to reveal yourself, you might think this person wouldn't be interested in you. And I think that it's painful because you want to be seen for who you are. But the bitter truth here is that you think this person doesn't see you for who they are, who you are. And I don't think that's the truth. So I think you're carrying this weight, this understanding but it's, um, it's a burden that you're carrying on your own that you don't really need to carry. I don't feel like this person isn't seeing you for who you are. I feel like this person isn't allowed to move forward and allow things to flow forward because I feel like you either on purpose or not on purpose, but you're kind of getting in your own way energetically of things moving forward. And maybe you're scared of this person getting too close to see you for who you truly are. But I feel like with this dreams are closer than you think. I think you you're fearing, you're fearing that um, this person is not going to like what they see with that ace of wands in reverse and that queen of wands i feel like you're telling yourself an untruth here spirit wants to you to release yourself from that thought open yourself up to miracles allow abundance to flow to you rather than trying to change it um Trying to navigate how this person sees you, trying to control how this person sees you, being very stuck in a way. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of stuck in a way here. Enjoy life with music, love, and romance. There's a, a need for you to just allow yourself to continuously express yourself without pulling back and recycling. Um energies with this person okay um so this is the bitter truth i hope this helped i feel like it was all over the place and sometimes these readings aren't very clear i also feel like you with that seven of swords that kept coming out are very guarded and defensive um and with the lead there's this energy here um so it's hard to kind of pierce through hopefully this helped um, let me know in the comments how this resonated for you guys. I feel like uh, one message is coming through here with the light and dark. And we're seeing the two of pentacles. And then the energy, like I said, it's a push-pull. Getting in your own way, wanting the not. Having that seven of cups is muddled thinking. Spirit wants you to get very clear about what you want. And everyone is dark and light. Masculine, feminine. It doesn't have to be everything or nothing. There's um, a message here about balancing yourself in a way that accepts the good and the bad in you. Bad. Okay, the dark, the light, and all of you. 
and I feel like there is this, um, once you do that, I feel like there's something that ignites here and that everything kind of falls into play or into place. Okay. Um, and that's going to be very natural but it's almost like yeah an explosion here but you have to allow yourself to just not control an outcome not control how things are going so much allow things to unfold um and embrace the fact that you are both dark light energies here and accept the fact that this person feels for you in a way that you might not be completely honest with yourself about you might be telling yourself untruths about how this person feels or what you're able to manifest here in this connection okay so this is what i see here for you guys beautiful pile number one um yeah i will leave it at that hopefully this helped and i will see you soon bye hello my gorgeous pile number two if you pick this beautiful moonstone wand absolutely beautiful then pile number two this is your reading now if you skip the intro i will be giving away this inner child cards fairy tale tarot deck uh free of charge once i reach a thousand subscribers you just have to be subscribed leave a comment leave a like on any of my videos and i will randomly select someone to send this off to like i said free absolutely beautiful google that deck you will absolutely love it it's great for beginners and experienced tarot readers we will be taking a look at the bitter truth okay we'll ask spirits to be clear and concise with the bitter truth what you need to hear right now in order to help and like i mentioned in the intro as a trigger warning i don't know what's going to be communicated so i intend on this being a message that will help and sometimes in order for us to heal, sometimes we hear things that might not be nice in the moment, although truthful. So it could be a truth that maybe you're having a difficult time accepting, or maybe this is something that you're needing confirmation from spirit. But either way, we're asking for the bitter truth for you, beautiful pile number two and um yeah let's see what spirit wants to communicate now if you are trying to develop your intuition you might want to come up with an animal an object a color something here that you will see in the cards in order to confirm that indeed this is your pile okay but again don't take any messages that aren't resonating for you or that don't feel like it's your message then only take what is resonating all right, so this is from that inner child cards um, that I showed you guys. This is the three of hearts, which is the three of cups. Beautiful. So you've got three mermaids there and a treasure chest. All right. Three of hearts. We have body with the number 56 we have coagulation we have mystical sister we have throat chakra with the number five We have Elk Huapiti. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect you that you deserve. Trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. Reevaluate relationships, justice, and fair play with Eclipse in Libra, number 31. Rebalance. fiber what does your soul say number 62 hmm, trust your intuition what does your soul say and number 37 celebrating the world's diversity okay let's pull some tarot as well 
Spirit for pile number two. Can we get clear and concise message here for beautiful pile number two? What is the bitter truth that they need to hear right now? We got the four of pentacles. spirit we have the three of swords and we'll pull one more here we have the three of cups coming out again okay so let me just shimmy that down a little so you guys can see all right i'm getting a strong message here that you guys are in a situation i feel like with a best friend or um, a family member here in which something has happened and things went things went sideways. Maybe this person didn't treat you right. Um, something happened here that Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that you've known for a really, really long time, that you grew up with, that you have a very close relationship with, you have a background with. I feel like you guys aren't seeing eye to eye or something happened. You guys might have got into an argument. You haven't talked to this person in a, in a long time. And I feel like you're being a little bit um, stubborn and you're holding back from reaching out or allowing yourself to accept that this person might not be seeing things the way you see it and to accept this person for their opinion for what it is that happened as much your responsibility as it is their responsibility i feel like the situation is gone sour or is got out of hand got worse and it got worse maybe because of people being stubborn and not just allowing bygones be bygones i feel like intuitively you know that what matters here is the connection you have with this person i do feel like it's a family member but it could be somebody like a sister um maybe someone you went to school with you've known for a very long time and I'm not sure what the body is telling me here so i do want to read the body just to see if we get additional message with the number 56 let's see what is body all about all right so body number 56 is what is this thing what is this thing this vessel that we are in uh it brings a whole other complication through this deck, there are lots of cards to help us understand our esoteric connections, but whether we like it or not, gravity still keeps our feet on the earth in our fragile bodies. Injury, sickness, our bodies are not as resilient as our spirits. We are born with instinctive fear to protect our bodies to keep us alive, and the information we receive elevates that fear. Then, in addition to our fear, we are taught to hate our bodies and the bodies of other people. Created is a dichotomy in which we have ourselves who we feel are our inner selves and our physical body which we may disconnect from or whether aware or not do not believe it belongs to us i wish that i could say i found a way to overcome this struggle myself but i haven't i am going to try though and maybe you can too this is my body it is the house to my sacred spirit my ultimate power and this body is going to get me where I need to be to shower the world with my vision and my abundance of love. So the body should be honored, even in the face of those trying to disrespect it and take ownership over it. This body is mine and only mine. This body is strong. This body is mine. I have a feeling this has to do with the argument. Celebrating a world's diversity, something about body. Maybe there's something here. Um, this person was not, in your mind, respecting themselves, maybe, or doing something that wasn't, yes, with the three of cups and three of cups. Maybe this person was engaging in um, behaviors that wasn't respecting themselves. 
um, or maybe you were, so you can crisscross who this was, and maybe there was an argument or a communication. Um, I feel like you're separated from this person because of an argument, and maybe you guys weren't seeing eye to eye because this person was maybe partying too much. Maybe they had a, a substance issue here, okay? Something, uh, maybe they said something hurtful in regards to a physical appearance of you or something you guys weren't agreeing on here. But I feel like there's an energy of you then um, not acting on your intuition and making peace. And maybe things feel like they've soured and have gone stale. But I feel like there's a deep connection here. This person is um, is someone that you're able to salvage a relationship here with. And I think the bitter truth of the situation here is that both of you guys were equally wrong and both of you guys here were equally in the right. So maybe this is the bitter truth that you're not really wanting to hear, um, but that whatever has happened here, I feel um, it's now time to kind of trust your intuition in how you want to proceed. I don't want to have tell you like you have to go and um, talk to this person if you feel like this person has wronged you in some sort of way, okay? But this is the bitter truth. And I feel like your intuition and your soul is saying something here. And I feel there is this deep connection with this person that you have a history and not only because you have a history, but I feel like you're able to continue on with this person and create great things. But um, yeah, stand solid in your dignity, but there is a need to embrace or um, reunite with this person because you guys have been separated here. There's a lot of heartache, heartbreak. Um, there is a, a need to come together, have reconciliation about something that might be old already, might have not even be uh, a thing anymore. Okay, let's see if we can pull some more tarot. Let's see if we can get some more around this situation here. But I feel like there needs to be a communication, an apology. If you feel like you need to apologize here... Maybe that's the bitter truth. Maybe you feel like this person needs to apologize to you. So to be a bigger person, maybe maybe you owe them an apology here, okay? I'm just being devil's advocate. So let's see, what more do we have? We have the Empress. This is giving me this mystical sister. This is full abundance. This is love. This is mother. So it could even be your mother um, or your daughter. Okay, somebody here... Um, this is feminine energy, but there's this true, deep love, motherly type love here that I'm feeling. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles is a very solid, committed, stable type energy here. I feel like there's a need to... Yeah, like these are both really high abundance here. Um, this is abundance and the Knight of Pentacles is slowly moving forward. Dedicated, committed, slowly but surely. I feel like there is this need to... Oops, I'm going to pull some more, but I was getting this feeling of um, with the stand tall, maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect you deserve. I feel like there's a, a message here of how or, yeah, let's, let's get some more. Okay, so why were we seeing the King of Pentacles and the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles spirit? What further can we communicate here? The beautiful pile number two. You have the Three of Wands. You saw the Three of Swords. You saw the Three of Cups twice and the Three of Wands. So maybe there's another person here involved as well. Mm. Four of Swords. This is Recovery. I 
and the nine of swords. These are giving me the same energies here. Yeah, there's like um, anxiety. This is sleepless nights. This is like anguish about a situation here in which maybe stunted the future potential. Um, and yeah, spirit is saying clearly that with the empress and that king of pentacles and with this fiber card, I feel like there's more that you guys are supposed to be building for the future. There's something here that, um, abundance to be had. And I feel like this is probably why there is this anxiety. Um, you've had a period of time where you've been reeling from this separation or this argument, this heartbreak, this painful situation here. And I feel like spirit is wanting you to focus on what you guys can build in the future, not necessarily what has happened here. And I feel like this person is um, most likely going to be in the same headspace as you. So let's see if we could get some more here. Yeah, because there's with the Empress and that King of Pentacles, I feel like there is something here that you guys are able to really build for the future that is very abundant, very fruitful. And we have the Lovers. We have that Three of Swords in reverse. So this is like healing from that heartbreak. And this is the Queen of Cups. And I feel like this Queen of Cups is somebody who is able to express herself, share emotions, give love, okay? Choose to give love. It's blocked. I feel like you've been holding back because you're trying to heal. You've been heartbroken. You've been trying to come out of a state in which somebody hurts your feelings. And Spirit is saying the choice is yours to um, repair this, to reconcile, to make the choice, to allow yourself to love this person give to this person, express yourself to this person, communicate, but don't hold back your love because the four of pentacles is being guarded and held back. And maybe you were because you're really hurt about something and you're waiting to fully heal or you're trying to come out of this healing state with the four of swords and the three of swords in reverse. But spirit is saying now's the time for you to choose this connection. Okay. Talk to this person, forgive this person, move forward. There's something to be built. So let's see if we can get some more advice here before we close out the reading. Beautiful pile number two for the bitter truth for pile number two. What do they need to hear, spirit? Okay, these don't want to go back. We have the eight of cups, we have the six of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, so this is saying um, leaving a situation that was not emotionally fulfilling. And I feel like when we leave a situation to go review what is emotionally fulfilling, I feel like there's an understanding here that there's this love and I feel like now's the time to come back to put in energy, effort, dedication and give to a situation here, invest in this situation and this person because I feel like whatever happened is kind of old and is no longer... It's no longer going to get in the way of your emotional fulfillment here with this person. Okay, allow yourself to forgive, allow yourself to reconcile. And there's abundance, there's treasure to be had. Um, and that deep down, I feel in your intuition, your soul, I feel like you know that this person is somebody that you're, um, you're destined to work with this person to be close with this person we saw the lovers card here okay accepting diversity and that you guys weren't seeing eye to eye but keep investing and i feel like you are going to definitely have um some payoff here when it comes to the investment in this person okay so this is what i see here for you guys beautiful pile number two i hope this helped i will see you soon bye Hello, beautiful pile number three. If you pick the fluorite wand, then pile number three, this is your reading. Just put that right here. And in case you skip the intro, I will be giving away the inner child cards, fairy tale tarot deck free of charge when I reach a thousand subscribers. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a like and a comment on my videos. You can comment on any video. I will be randomly selecting from the comment section 
of one of my videos and I will be sending that off to you guys free of charge. Absolutely beautiful deck. Google it and take a look at it. It's great for beginners and experienced tarot readers alike. So let's take a look now at the bitter truth. What spirit thinks you need to hear right now in regards to the bitter truth. So like I mentioned in the trigger warning there, um, sometimes the truth may not sound so great. And I do intend on communicating this as graciously as I can. However, sometimes the truth could be painful truths, but it's spirit's way to communicate something that either you're not seeing, wanting to see or embrace or accept, or it could be just confirming something that you know to be the truth and spirit wants to confirm this for you. Okay, so use your intuition to come up with an object, an animal, um, food, whatever, color, a phrase, a word, a number, something here that your intuition is going to see in order to confirm that this is indeed your pile in order to strengthen your intuition. All right, so let's get started with the Oracle cards that are pre-shuffled. So we have the Three of Wands, and this is from that beautiful Inner Child cards um, deck that I was just showing you guys. So the Three of Wands um, in this deck, you have three fairies playing the violin and then a whole bunch of cherry blossoms. Mm. Beautiful, okay. The Bitter Truth, Three of Wands. And we have 73 with Restlessness. Look at all these eyeballs. 10 eyeballs and then all those numbers, Restlessness. 73 for the number 10. And we have calcification, mm. number 64, also the number 10, calcification. Okay, getting a message. Uh, we have the peacock's tail, 55, also the number 10. Mm, the peacock's tail. That's a lot of tens, you guys. Wait a minute. 64. Yes, that is 10. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to put that down here. Sorry, I'm just picking up energy as I go through. We have the number 15 here with master. Or the number 6. Nice green heart chakra color here we have chameleon stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events hmm this is kind of the energy we're getting in pile number one stay in the background and adapt to the situation but we have master here okay we have proceeding softly my inner power grows in moments of quietude. Inner power. Let me put that right there. Uh, work diligently towards your goals with sun and Capricorn. Also the number 10, status. Look at the beautiful ray of sunshine there in the pyramids. Mm, work diligently towards your goals. Proceeding softly, okay. Three of Wands. Corvid. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, and number 40, Bonding with the Rhythm of Life. And let's shuffle that side over. We have external validation with the number 50. Hmm. Oh, multiples of 10, 50, 
could be devised by 10, 40 as well. All these 10s, 10, 10, 10, 10. So you've got four 10s. All right, let's ask Spirit for a clear and concise message here for pile number three. What is the bitter truth? Pile number three needs to hear right now. Clear and concise, please. Thank you. We have the King of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like there is something here that you are not wanting to accept for what it is out of fear of it maybe going poorly or, or hearing something that you might not want to hear or being too afraid to accept something as it's coming in um Something has come to an end with the tens, okay? But I feel like it's come to an end for a while now. And after something comes to an end, there's a need to have a beginning. Um, and there is something that needs to be communicated to you or is trying to come through to you. But I feel like you're... Um, not quieting your mind enough to listen to what this is. I feel like you're focusing somewhere else in order to keep your mind busy. And you're trying to make something happen here. But I feel like whatever you're trying to make happen here is a distraction. And you're trying to... Distract yourself so that you don't have to embrace whatever a truth is here for you to move forward with the future. There's this new thing that you're supposed to be now embracing, hearing, moving towards, flowing with. But I feel like you're still trying to have some sort of closure or some sort of understanding in a situation here that is done, it's over. And there's multiple um, explanations. And I see with the peacock's tail and this chameleon that, And even this bonding with the rhythm of life, I feel like um, there's many different ways that you could um, tell yourself whatever narrative about what has happened that's going to allow you to either strengthen yourself to move forward or beat yourself down about something here. But... I feel like whatever this is, is not supposed to be coming from what you're telling yourself. This is a message I feel is coming to you that you're not listening or you're not being receptive to because you're in your way of it needing to be what you're trying to make it out to be and I feel like what you're trying to make it out to be is not helping you and is hurting you let's see if we can get some more for you guys beautiful pile number three spirit can we get some more for pile number three what is this all about what is this bitter truth for pile number three mm. okay so six of pentacles it was popping up in reverse, but let's keep going. What more does pile number three need to know about this? Six of Pentacles, the Empress, and the King of Pentacles. This came out in pile number two. Um, I 
I feel like you're trying to... We have status here. The King of Pentacles is definitely a high status type person. The Six of Pentacles is donating, um, investing. I feel like you might be focused on the wrong thing right now in order to have abundance in your life. But I feel like the abundance that you're needing or that's wanting to come through is the type that you can't work for. It's something that comes to you. Um, yeah, with this external validation, maybe you're like leaning in on material abundance, financial abundance, but you're feeling like it's not bringing the type of enjoyment or love that you are wanting and maybe you're being busy with work so you don't have to focus on maybe a situation here that has come to an end and listen to what this is telling you here we have the emperor we saw the emperor or the empress now we're seeing the emperor so divine masculine divine feminine this is uh, a boss. This is someone definitely with status. The fool and the world coming in reverse. I feel like there need, there's something here that needs to start anew, and that's you. And I feel like you're not starting anew. You're in this 10, all these 10s that we saw. There needs to be a closure here. In order for you to have closure, you need to um, be empowered to move forward, to cl close the chapter of something here and maybe you're hanging on i feel like you're hanging on but the way you're hanging on is by distracting or not listening or focusing on external validation status work like i feel like there's something you're waiting on here before you can start anew spirit what is the bitter truth here for pile number three what is this bitter truth king of wands that's like that's emperor energy okay this is somebody who is in control who goes after what they want very confident temperance in reverse the, oh, the phone is ringing i will be right back all right sorry about that normally when the phone rings or a distraction i usually take that into consideration i was about to say there needs to be some It's a telemarketer. There needs to be some healing in a situation that I feel like you're not fully healed from. And I feel like you feel like you need this sort of um, closure of sorts before you can move on and start anew. Spirit wants you to be very clear here um, in understanding that you're able to have a new beginning. That you're able to take the control in your own hands to move towards what it is that you desire here. But I feel like there's something about this thing that ended. So we're going to ask Spirit, what more do you need to know about the ending in order for you to move on? What is with this ending for beautiful pile number three? What do they need to know about the ending? The Empress in reverse. The Three of Cups in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. This is that whole status, working, work, external validation. I feel like you're busting yourself in trying to get noticed um, by... Putting in energy um, with that six of pentacles, putting in time, maybe giving financially, investing, putting in your energy, your details, your efforts in something that I feel isn't appreciative of you. And yeah, I feel like you're wanting to experience something here. 
that is um, true when it comes to love. And it could very well be with someone that you want to experience love with. But I don't feel like this person is showing up in this way. And I feel like you're investing in this person financially or trying to use your status or your something that you have here that you're using to woo this person or have them see things differently but I feel like it's not really you it's not really what you want I feel like with this chameleon thing um you're trying to manage the situation so that this person can feel differently about you with this external validation trying to win something over here but yeah control situation here spirit is saying no like you're not gonna get this love you're not gonna get what it is out of this situation by doing what you're doing here so with this proceeding softly my inner power grows in moments of quietude i feel like you need to really listen to the message the message here with this corvid um sometimes we're scared of the corvid bringing in bad news but sometimes the corvid brings us very good news um but we might be a little too afraid to hear um there's something here coming in for you but you're really hung up on putting an energy in the wrong person the wrong thing here page of pentacles yeah i need to move forward but you're unclear right now um, on how to move forward from the situation that's been quite difficult here with the six of swords but i feel like you're leaving a strenuous situation moving towards clarity moving towards something that's more calmer but i feel like you're potentially confused um there's a need to start over or fresh or towards something else here that's actually going to manifest something for you away from the confusing situation um let's pull some more to see what this is all about spirit thank you so much for the clear and concise message anything further for pile number three in regards to the bitter truth here five of wands uh, ace of pentacles there's that new beginning and grounding something manifesting something you're challenged in manifesting something here um, because you're focused on external validation either through providing someone with money things material wealth here using your status trying to woo or win someone over here someone's love there's a need to manifest something here uh, for yourself and what spirit is saying is in order for you to bring in love this is like your divine feminine true abundance and true unconditional love You've been challenged in doing this because I feel like you haven't been able to move forward and release yourself from this external validation, from trying to show up in a situation here that might have ended, trying to see things in 10 ways from Sunday to try to make things work here. But I feel like with the uh, calcification, this is tired, it's done. Allow the course of events to kind of flow out. Uh, bonding with the rhythm of life i feel like allowing yourself to listen to the messages coming in whether they be good or bad or whatever the feeling is here will allow the ships to come in and your love to come in but there needs to be a new beginning here okay and a new beginning planting a seed in the right direction because you're definitely in control we saw the emperor we're seeing this master card i feel like you're in control of that new beginning but as far as what has transpired stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous um and attempting to direct the course of events yeah don't try to invest in a situation that's conflict 
that's not giving you what it is that you need. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some advice here for beautiful pile number three before we wrap up. We have the tower. That is things coming, tumbling down that were built on shaky ground. So if we're trying to build something on status, if we're trying to win someone over here, there's this caution with the tower. And I do feel like you've been driving towards this with the Knight of Wands. You've been focused on driving towards trying to maybe make something work here that's just not really built on solid ground. Yeah, and the Ace of Swords in a Bitter Truth reading is really about getting clear, getting honest, moving forward in honesty and truth, but it is our truth, what is clear, our understanding of something. So I feel like there's an understanding here that you need to embrace and you need to move forward with this bitter truth that whatever is ended here was built on shaky ground and you've been trying to move towards this you've been investing time energy money whatever you might have been investing here in a situation that's not really panning out in your favor it's it's yeah i feel though what i am getting and not to give any false hope but i feel like whatever this calcification is of the situation once you shift, I do feel like they're, um, the course of events might take a turn here. They might change drastically, but I feel like it's stuck right now because you're focusing on an area here that isn't allowing it uh, space to breathe, but your ships are coming in, okay? With that um, Empress we saw twice, I feel like you're opening your heart up to love, but you need to move forward in truth and clarity and stay on that path. Work diligently towards your goals. Yeah. Focus on that. Okay. Then I feel like there is a shift here with this thing that's ended in some way that needs to, um, I do feel like it is, it needs space to breathe in order to transform from one spectrum to the other, if that matters to you. But I feel like right now it's not really, you're not really allowing it to breathe. Moments of quietude. I feel like, yeah. Give it a little bit of a pause, a break. Feel like you might feel restless, restlessness here in this situation here because you might feel like, what else can you do? Well, what you can do is just let it kind of go for now, okay? Uh, but that's the bitter truth for you guys. Beautiful pile number three. I hope this helped and I will see you soon. Bye.